Okay, so we're just going to take a quick look at uh, some other automation, and that's velocity automation. Um, so you'll see in this selected MIDI, uh, MIDI clip, <clears throat> down in the bottom you'll see all these orange nodes, and they, that's essentially the velocity area. Uh, and you'll see when I highlight or just hover over a note, uh, the corresponding velocity down below is highlighted. Now, obviously, to give a more natural feel, you can see in this, it's, the velocity is pretty similar all the way through. So you want to make variations on that. And there's a few ways you can go about doing that. You can just select them individually and drag up and down on them. And you'll see that uh, the corresponding velocity changes. Um, you can select multiples and drag them that way. And you'll see that they drop. Um, other options, you can just select one, for example, hold down shift and go through and select a couple that way and move automation uh, up and down that way or you can actually go down into the velocity section and there's a few things you can do down here let's say for example I grabbed a stack of notes I can actually make a ramp so they could build up if I hold down control when down in the velocity section and then left click you see I can drag a little guy up and there I've created a ramp. So have a listen to this. Okay, so you get the general idea there. Uh, other options as well. Uh, if you actually right click in this velocity area, uh, you can choose draw mode and that way it enables you to actually draw in um, your own curves and things like that as well. So that can be really useful uh, just for changing the, the play uh, of the audio or the MIDI clip.